So today we are going to discuss the posterior pituitary. This is another part of the pituitary. We've already discussed a lot about the anterior pituitary. We know about the hormones that are produced by the anterior pituitary. And today let's take a look at the posterior pituitary. So um, the posterior pituitary is also known as the neurohypophysis. You know that the anterior pituitary is known as the adenohypophysis because it is made up of glandular cells. The posterior pituitary is made up of neural-like cells, which are also known as glial-like cells. We know that uh, the, embryologic, uh, the embryologic origin of posterior pituitary originate from neural-like cells. But also you do have the cells that are called the pituitocytes and basically the pituitocytes are supporting a series of nerves that uh, goes into the posterior pituitary. So again, as we said, um, the pituitary, you cannot discuss the pituitary without discussing the hypothalamus. For the posterior pituitary, we have two main parts of the hypothalamus that are responsible to synthesize the hormones that are released in the posterior pituitary and these are one is the supraoptic region or the supraoptic nuclei and these are just above the uh, optic chiasma and you have what we call paraventricular nuclei which are parallel to the ventricles and then from this nuclei you have neurons that goes all the way down to the posterior pituitary so the hormones of the posterior pituitary are synthesized by this nuclei and then they travel by axo, uh, along the axoplasm down to the posterior pituitary where they will be released into the circulation. So we know that uh, the posterior pituitary um, is responsible for two hormones and uh, one of these hormones is what is called the oxytocin and oxytocin is actually produced mainly by the paraventricular nuclei and then we have another hormone called ADH and ADH is mainly produced by the supraoptic nuclei but what you need to note is the fact that um, each of these nuclei can produce one sixth of the other hormone what I mean is paraventricular uh, nuclei produce mainly oxytocin, but they can also produce one sixth of ADH. The same for supraoptic nuclei produce mainly ADH, but they can also produce or synthesize one sixth of oxytocin. That is a take home message. So we know that they are synthesized in these nuclei and they're carried down um, the uh, axons and they're usually carried with carrier protein and these carrier proteins are known as neurophysins and they go down to the posterior pituitary as we know that these hormones are peptides and peptides can be stored in secretory vesicles so they are actually um, um, stored in secretory vesicles until when there's a stimulus and then they will be released into the blood and they will be transported in circulation to the place where they have effect which can either be the kidney or it can either be the breast.